Okay, you guys. I know an approved teacher. Okay, you guys. This is the teacher, obviously. And this is episode one. I don't think that I will be posting another episode today. My son is sick. Yeah, I know you guys can hear him snoring. Um, rocking him to sleep at the moment. But... <clears throat> Okay, well, let's get into this. Hmm. I like the bubbles. Girl, this is real fancy. Hmm. 150 hydrangeline. Even though school was more than enough work for me, I needed a job badly. I knew I could kiss college goodbye if I didn't find one and soon. That must be this one. Wow, look at this place. It's huge. This is me. My name is Mia. And this is my story. Knock, knock, knock. Oh, so this is like real life, girl? Okay. Knock, knock, knock again. I swear someone should be home. Let's try the garden. Let's take a look around that garden. Sure. There we go. There go a human. Um, excuse me. And so I applied for the job at the nanny and had an interview with Miss a woman named Miss Collins. Yeah, right. She asked while looking at her 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 roses. <laughs> Shit. Yes, exactly. The the interview was today, right? Yes, it's today. I felt awkward standing there talking to her back. Good, um, that's some that's some pretty rose you got there. Thank you, Mia. She carefully caressed one of the, one with her hand as she sighed. I was just checking on them one last time. I will be leaving soon after all. Okay. Look at me getting all sentimental now. She's a small woman, very petite, very stylishly dressed. She looked Perfectly polished. And her skin was glowing. Looking healthy and clean. Excuse me. She definitely looked younger than she probably was. Only a few crow's feet. <laughs> around her eyes and mouth. Gave away that she had a lot more years with the smile and laughter behind. She was a good looking woman. And I easily could tell she enjoyed taking care of herself. I moved to Singapore for a year to take care of my mother who's ill. I see. I'm sorry. Thank you. My son, Daryl, just got a job here in town um, so he could be with Kyle. He won't be, well, he won't have much time for her because Kyle's a girl. Okay, okay, girl. Um, because of his job, but he'll live here though. Anyway, let's go inside and talk things over. Sounds good. Then you can meet Kyle. Oh, Kylie. <laughs> too. <laughs> okay. I'm like, Kyle? Okay, I love to. Good. Follow me. We've got this, Mia. <laughs> You should be down in a minute. Would you like something to drink? No thanks, I'm good. I just grabbed the coffee on my way here. Ah, there she is. This bitch grown. <laughs> there you are, sweetie. Um, a black haired girl with blue eyes. Oh, well, big blue eyes. 
dress in an equally uh, blue dress with polka dots walked in. Her hair was braided. She had freckles across her nose on her cheeks and her skin was fair and oh wait a minute. Her skin was fair and radiant. She was such a beautiful young woman, well young girl. I don't know a young woman anyway. I want you to meet Mia. She's one of the few girls I'm considering to be your nanny. Nice to meet you, Kylie. Great. A nanny? Mom, really? Kylie, don't start with me. We talked about this already. Yes, and I said I didn't want a nanny. I'm old enough to take care of myself. No, Kylie, you're 13. <laughs> what would you expect to eat when I'm gone? A girl gets home late and you can't cook. And what about laundry? Cleaning? And not to mention your homework? You need a nanny, Kylie. No, I don't need her. I don't need a nanny. I don't need anybody. Just leave me alone. Kylie, please. Just leave me alone. Girl, that She don't need a nanny to be on. Well, well, you know what? She probably do because she a little spoiled brat. So, she probably do need a nanny. But, uh, you know, I, I was 13 watching my baby sister. Like, she was, well, shit. She was about three. Well, I was 10 watching her, though, so I don't know. But at 13, I most definitely was a professional. <laughs> I'm so sorry about that. Don't be. It's not your fault. She hasn't been herself since I told her I was leaving. It must be hard on you all. It is, but my mother needs me now, and she's incredibly stubborn. She's determined to die in Singapore. <laughs> oh, I understand. Uh, Why don't we talk about... Everything when things have calmed down a bit. No, I'm fine. I'm sorry, dear. Let's move on to the interview. Let me just get my notepad. Okay. Whenever you're ready. Okay, Mia, you're 18, correct? Correct. I'm turning 19 soon, though. Do you have any experience with babysitting? Only a little. I've babysit some of the kids from my neighborhood a few times. Okay, what would you say is your greatest quality? Oh, that's the kind. A wonderful trait to have. Why do you want this job? I'm saving up for college and I really like kids, so I thought it would be a perfect it would be perfect for me. Very well. Do you consider yourself a responsible person? Yes. <laughs> Very much so, Miss Collins. I've always been told I've done a good job with the kids I've babysat. And that I'm very mature for my age. I'm also a proud straight A student. Very impressive, Mia. We continued the interview for an, for another hour and a half, and I thought everything went smoothly. I got the feeling that Miss Collins thought so too, but again, I knew this was a long shot, so I didn't want to get my hopes up. Thanks for coming, Mia. I'll call you next week, okay? Sounds good. Thank you, Mrs. Collins. Bye, Mia. Bye. I like this scene over here. Now for the worst part. The waiting. What a day. And what a sunset. Wow. The following Monday. You in college. Why are you wearing fucking uniforms? There are two... Well, they are, or there they are, two of my favorite people in the world. My boyfriend, Jake, he's not really my boyfriend. But since we've had something going on since our freshman year, nothing too serious, though. Mm. My best friend, Kelly, or Kels. <laughs> I, also, <laughs> I also creatively call her. Um, me and Jake's first year together went along smoothly. We were playful and very much in love, but our sophomore year had been rough. I started feeling more and more like we were growing apart. 
I just refuse to accept it. Someone's happy to see me, huh? Hey, babe. Hey. Mia, guess what? Kelly has been my best friend since kindergarten. I can't imagine life without her. What's up, Kels? No, seriously, guess. Um... Someone thought you were Amazon again. No, but that was awesome. Thank you for reminding me. Do you... Do you want to guess again? Um, no, girl. Just tell me... You know. Okay, okay. You're not gonna believe it. Mrs. Hobbs finally retired. <laughs> no way. No more detention for yawning, hopefully. Oh, so you guys are still in high school? I don't understand. I don't understand what the fuck is going on here. You guys haven't considered the chance of us getting someone even worse than Mrs. Hobbs. Oh, please. No one is worse than Mrs. Hobbs, that grumpy old hag. Damn. Well, I guess I'll, we'll find out in about five minutes. Um, meddling, guess what? Well, I don't know why I just call him. Okay, whatever. Hey, beautiful. Stop it. Mm. Jake was my first, but I was honestly worried about our future together. Sophomore year in high school? <laughs> um. <laughs> All right, girl. Whistle again, child. A tall, tan, messy hair guy walked through the door. Now leaving the entire classroom dead silent. Who was this guy? You gonna knock the special scene. Okay, well, play the special scene. Oh my god! He was mesmerizing. Absolutely jaw dropping, gorgeous. His dark eyes were. <laughs> His dark eyes were evaluating the room. This guy looks like he's been taken straight up an Hollywood romance movie. Why the hell did that shit have to come on like this, though? What the hell is this? I can't, <laughs> this is so hilarious to me. Oh, Jesus. This is like in the movies when they, you know, or on a TV show when someone cute walks in and then they, they uh, have their fan scene. This is cracking me up. His hair <laughs> was perfectly swept to one side with hair gel that made the color seem darker than it was. Speaking of dark, his eyes were so dark they almost seemed black. Okay, damn. Yeah, you look like a little demon, baby. It made him look mysterious. He had a muscular shape, extremely attractive jawline, and equally attractive cheekbones. Okay, we can see this man, girl. Why do you keep describing? Shit, hold on. Okay, she's. He was wearing a bluish shirt with tight vest on top of it, showing off his broad shoulders and slim waistline. He was a definition of perfect. He looked over at me, gazing hopelessly at him, and. I almost didn't believe my eyes when I saw the hint of a smile emerging in his lips. While wow, he playfully lifted an eyebrow at me. Oh yes, he totally caught me with my eyes and mouth wide open. <laughs> Could he really be our new teacher? Why would a guy like him teach at? Oh yeah, they're in high school. Woodstock High School, baby. <laughs> He grabbed the book from his bag, similar to ours. Way too boring mathematics book. Is this shit gonna go off? Now, there's no doubt in my mind that he was our new math teacher. This was Mrs. Hobbs' replacement. Thank you. Oh my goodness, I think I'm gonna faint. Mmm, hello. <laughs> there's no way he's our new teacher. We can't be that lucky, can we? Y'all, y'all some mad fish. <laughs> the boy, the boys looked clearly annoyed as the girls started to giggle and whisper about him. Hey guys, I'm Mr. Collins. Okay, nah. And I'm your new math teacher. At the time, his name Collins didn't ring a bell. Boy, was I in for a shock soon. <laughs> oh, 
As you probably know, Mrs. Hobbs has retired. I want to keep calling her fucking Hobbit. (laughs) But please turn to page 344. Oh, yes, Mr. Collins. Everything for you. Honey. Kelly, be quiet. He might hear you. Besides, he probably married and had four kids. Damn. What? No. He's not that old. He can't be more than five years older than us. Been a five year okay, yep. Mm-hmm. Besides, I could not care less. He's dreamy. Look at him, Mia. I was feeling the exact same excitement as Kelly was about our new hot throb of a teacher. But Jake was sitting right across the room from the corner of my eye. I could see him watching me, scared to see. A reaction similar to Kelly and the other girl. I didn't want to upset him, so I tried my best to stay as cool as possible. When Mr. Collins turned around, searching for his book, our, our, our eyes met once again. He held his eyes at me for a few seconds before looking down into his book, smiling to himself. On the outside, I remained calm, but on the inside, he just sent me. He just set me on fire. <laughs> How could our principal hire a man this good looking? <laughs> well, damn, he can't be a teacher, girl, because he look good. How are we supposed to focus on learning now? <laughs> I was just about to enter Cafe Le... Cafe La. Me and Kelly's favorite, me and Kelly's favorite place to hang out after school when my phone rang. Phone ringing. Hello? Hello, Mia. This is Mrs. Collins. Mrs. Collins, how are you? To be honest, I'm not feeling so good, Mia. I'm very stressed out at the moment. Do you have time to stop by? I was just on my way to get a coffee with a friend. I'll just let her know that I won't be won't be coming. I can be with you in 20 minutes, Mrs. Collins. Is that okay? That's perfect. Thank you, Mia. I'll see you soon. See you soon. Did it not hit you? Did the name not hit you then? I wonder what that was about. She sounded very upset where she was definitely more than just her waiting for me. I didn't get the job face-to-face. Um, something was bothering her a lot. Oh, well, at least I was prepared for the bad news after that call. You just got that awfully stressing me out, baby. Dear Mia, thank you for coming. Oh, Mia, dear. Thank you for coming. Some some dear Mia. <laughs> Of course, Mrs. Collins. Oh, please call me Ellie. Oh, girl, we on first name basis now? Okay, Ellie, so how's Kylie doing? That's exactly what I wanted to talk to you about. Please follow me. She moved gracefully towards the living room, just me to follow her. I was really, I was getting mixed signals about this. Why would she ask me, wait, why would she ask me to call her Ellie? Hmm? If I was going to, if I was never going to see her again, girl. Okay, so Mia, you saw how Kylie reacted the last time you were here. She isn't doing well. I'm sorry. She refuses to talk to me, and she won't come out of her room. I see. Therefore, I've decided to make you an offer that will benefit you, but Kylie very much as well. And I really hope that you'll consider this offer. Yes. I will not only offer you the job, Mia. I'll pay you triple the amount of money per day. Oh, then that was offered in my ad. Okay, wow, really? But only if you will live here and take care of Kylie. The year I'll be gone. Wait, what? Live here? Wait, what? You have to read something. Okay. 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 That's in. Okay. All right, girl. Um. Okay. <laughs> she ended abruptly. Okay. So that was the teacher episode one, you guys. Um. Yeah. I'm not 
like I said, I'm not sure if I'm going to post another episode tonight. But, um, I most certainly will be posting tomorrow. Oh, and guys, I have, like, le legit a long-ass list of episodes that you guys want me to record. So, I'm going to only do a couple of them at a time because it's, it, it uh, I will get mixed up in the, you know, process of recording or whatever. But, um, please don't ask me to record one of those episodes with them old ass characters. I hate those. Those are, those are the fucking worst. And I got quite a few of them. Oh my God, they're the worst. So, you guys, I will be, um, recording the next episode of this. Um, possibly tonight, because I want to see what happens. So, possibly tonight, but if not, in the morning, I will post it. But this is episode one, so see you guys later.